is it necessary that the name of our business be published? Can I ask why you, you're a little bit hesitant on that? So obviously, using Optimove is a, is a competitive advantage. So, you know, you don't necessarily want your competitors to, to understand what you're doing and, and start doing the same thing. Uh, we, we manufacture and we sell direct to consumer. So we used and then for about five or six years and had success, but uh, eventually we plateaued in how effective we could be because we, we did the classic batch and blast email marketing. We would run promos. Every single customer would get the exact same email, and we would just uh, beat them over the head with the same emails. Overall, our business was beginning to plateau and even decline. One of the, the real wealth or assets that we have as a company, uh, we've been around for 125 years, wow. is intimacy with our customers. Um, and, and when I say that, I mean that we really did have a, a huge collection of data about them, about their purchasing habits, about demographic factors. Sometimes when you have that much data, it can become cumbersome or, or so much that it, it's very difficult to take actionable insights on it. We began to realize this, that we needed a solution or we needed some strategies that were, that were more effective, that leveraged our data better and did a better job at sending the right message to the right customer. I can't remember all the ones I looked into, but I did look into Optimove and immediately I thought Optimove was far superior because of the entire philosophy that Optimove uses. And it's a lot of things that I was trying to do on my own, like split and control tests and A-B tests and measuring the effectiveness of, of marketing actions, not just by how many people click through or how many people use the promo code, but how a, a test group performed versus a control group. These people have a very sophisticated way of of looking at what actually works, you know, what's marking that actually pushes the needle. Historically, we would just make one email that said, hey, this is discounted, this is discounted, this is discounted, and send it to everyone. Now, we're looking at a customer's history and making a target group based on people who would be interested in either one product or one type of product in the promo, and we're creating a special email that's that's tailored to them and to that product and sending that to them and doing that with all the things that are in the promo. So it's it's become much less of a one-size-fits-all approach. Just the last four months, which in my opinion is, is when we really – have gotten in the sweet spot uh, of our mixture between traditional promos and, and, and more new stuff, we're up 126% in email revenue. Going from to Optimove is like going from an acoustic guitar to an electric guitar. I just feel like I have so much more power. I'm pretty confident every week we're sending a customer the best potential message that they could be getting. Was it a game changer? I mean, was Optimove what you expected to begin with? I would say that it's it's surpassed expectations. 